The kids, they're not all right. And that shouldn't be a surprise after two years plus of lockdowns, schools being closed. I'm referring, of course, to the recent education scores and math scores for kids in Ontario is down, a failing grade. I'm Adrian Batra. With me are Brian Lilly and Jamil Javani. Brian, it should come as no surprise um, to, to parents, to students, to anybody, that the report card, as it were, for the standardized tests for students on English and math, the scores are down. What do we know? Well, what we know is that we're back to where we were before. You know, this is this is what Doug Ford campaigned against in 2018. And he said, our kids are failing because Kathleen Wynne has failed our kids. Uh, he's going to have those words thrown back in his face now when you see that. Let me read you some numbers. Just 59 percent of grade three students met the provincial standard in the latest round of testing. Forty seven percent of grade six students met the provincial standard in math and 52% met the standard in uh, grade nine. Now, if you compare any of these scores in grades three, six, or nine to the literacy scores, the reading and writing scores, kids do great there. They're obviously not teaching math correct. And I think COVID, you know, the government is trying to blame COVID. I don't think that's the whole story. We can get into that. But obviously learning math on a Zoom call in the longest lockdown mm -hmm. uh, jurisdiction in all of North America obviously hurt kids. Jamil, um, you know, to, to touch on Brian's point with respect to this not just being, you know, sort of an Ontario or Canada issue, we've seen similar uh, trajectories downward, even in the United States, for example. Sure, the, co the pandemic absolutely had a, a, a role in this because learning math on Zoom is not fun. Learning math already is challenging in, 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 from the onset. But how, how, do you look at, uh, how do you look at this? Well, certainly among those numbers that Brian shared, the most disturbing one is since 2018, it's been a 23% decline in grade nine students that can meet provincial math scores. That's very alarming. I don't really care how that compares to other countries. That's going to worry me if I'm a mom or dad, regardless. But I think the bigger picture here, Adrian, and this is something that I know a lot of our audience at the Toronto Sun is very passionate about. This is why wokeness is a problem because it advances goalposts for how you address inequality that don't actually help people. So while we spent the last few years talking about all kinds of isms and obias, systemic this, systemic that, everybody's been making noise, mostly frankly come because of what's been happening in the United States, not even because of what's been happening in our country, we have really serious forms of inequality being allowed to continue largely unchallenged, politicians and administrators not held accountable to do anything about them. And this is why I worry when I hear all the woke talking points is that it just seems like a massive distraction from some very serious policy issues, including in this case, math among young people, students in our country. Brian, uh, you know, to, to Jamil's point on that, and I'm going to give you the last word here, uh, you have spoken to the officials, the Ministry of Education, the minister, pushing back on some of this, you know, it was years ago, it was this, this you know, woke math, new math, they called it, um, discovery math. Mm -hmm. uh, Premier Ford is like, no, back to the, the, the rigor of the regular curriculum um, where things add up. Two plus two does actually equal four. What's the ministry saying? Well, so the ministry did um, revamp the curriculum in 2019. March 2019, they, they unveiled it. They said they were getting rid of Discovery Math, going back to rote learning in the early years. Look, Discovery Math is, is looking at math at a very high conceptual level. That can be fine once you've learned the basics. And every education expert I've talked to, including ones highly critical of the previous government, has said that. But you've got to learn that two plus two equals four to be able to figure out how to apply that to these problems. That wasn't mm -hmm. happening. But here's part of the issue, and it goes to what Jamil was talking about, the wokeness, the politics, the indoctrination rather than education. When they unveiled that new curriculum, the Toronto Sun broke the fact that it said in the curriculum that math was a tool of white supremacy and that there <laughs> needed to be a decolonization of math, that it was Eurocentric. That shows a complete ignorance of math's history um, as something that every culture has actually contributed to the advancement of mathematics. We've taken something from everywhere. It's the opposite of that. But mm -hmm. they're so determined to push this agenda that it ended up in the math curriculum and wasn't taken yeah. out until the Sun reported on it. The educrats need to be pushed back on at every turn. 
I've said that in two columns directed at various ministers, including Education Minister Stephen Lecce this week. They've got to keep pushing back because the educrats want indoctrination, parents want education. And parents, I hope you are seeing what's going on here. It's time to engage and push back against these educrats for your children's sake. Log on to Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think and go to thetorontosun.com for more coverage on this story and others that you will not find anywhere else.